Welcome to the Describe World channel. Europe, being a vast continent, is home to a diverse range of people. Have you ever wondered about the biblical origins of these European peoples? If so, you're in for an intriguing journey as we delve into the genealogical information that sheds light on the origin of white European peoples, as described in the sacred scriptures. Sit back, relax, and enjoy another video from our series on the origin of peoples, according to the Bible. Europe encompasses numerous countries, including Germany, Austria, Poland, Hungary, France, Italy, Romania, and many more. Surprisingly, the sacred scriptures mention the origins of European peoples. In the 10th chapter of Genesis, biblical texts cite the names of ancestral ancestors associated with certain European peoples. The interpretation of these texts considers the presented symbolism, origins, regions, and countries of characters and peoples. Among the European peoples mentioned in the sacred scriptures, the Greek and Macedonian peoples stand out as direct descendants of Japheth, one of the sons of Noah. Japheth, known as the ancestor of the Greeks, leads us to the inference that he is the origin of Europeans, according to ancient genealogies, Jewish interpretations, other books, and the general opinion of ancient Semitic peoples. All these sources point to Japheth, the son of Noah. The name Japheth carries meanings such as beautiful, pale, enlargement, or multiplication. Biblically, European peoples are referred to as Japhethic peoples or Japhethites. Furthermore, linguistically, the European language family, including English, German, Russian, Ukrainian, and several others, is also known as the Japheth language family, in reference to the ancestor of the European peoples. In the book of Genesis, the ancestors of European peoples are addressed in chapter 10, as well as in the book of Chronicles. Japheth's lineage, including his seven sons and grandsons, is mentioned. By examining the names of Japheth's sons and grandsons, we can decipher the origins of ancient Europeans. Interestingly, in antiquity the Israelites themselves referred to European peoples as Japheths or Javanites, specifically referring to the region of Greece as Javanites or simply sons of Javan. The book of Genesis provides the names of each of Japheth's children. Let's dive into each of their names. Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshech, Tiras. Additionally, we have the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Repheth, Togarma, and the sons of Javan, Elisha, Karshish, Kittim, Dodanim. It is worth noting the biblical identification of Ashkenaz as an ancestor of the Germanic peoples. This description, still present among Jews today, has led Ashkenazi Jews to refer to regions, including Germany and other Germanic regions, as Ashkenazic. According to the ancient and biblical Jewish view, Ashkenaz is the ancestor of the Germanic peoples, including the Germans themselves. Another fascinating biblical character is Riffith who, according to ancient interpretations and the consensus among the Irish themselves, is considered the biblical ancestor of the Celtic peoples. The Celtic tribes scattered across Europe are direct descendants of Riffith, son of Gomer and grandson of Japheth. Apart from the descendants of Riffith, other sons of Japheth are also associated with European peoples or regions genetically related to Europeans. For example, we have the mention of Madai in the biblical text which is interpreted as one of the sons of Japheth and refers to the nations that settled in the region of Iran, specifically the Aryan or Iranian peoples. Biblically, the people called Madites are represented by the ancient Persians. Notice the similarity between the terms Mado and Madai due to the origin of these peoples. Madai was the progenitor of the Mede tribes, which include the ancient Persians, as we explore the biblical origins of European peoples, we uncover a rich tapestry of ancestral connections and historical narratives that shape the diverse European heritage. Stay tuned for more captivating insights into the origin of peoples according to the Bible. According to the sacred scriptures, Japheth is regarded as the ancestor of the Greeks and Macedonians, leading us to infer that he is the progenitor of Europeans. The ancient genealogies, Jewish interpretations and the general consensus among ancient Semitic peoples also support this notion. The European language family, which includes English, 
German, Russian, Ukrainian, and others, is even referred to as the Japheth language family, in recognition of the European people's connection to their ancestor. In the book of Genesis, chapter 10, we find a list of names associated with Japheth's descendants. One notable name is Madai, who is considered the ancestor of the ancient Persian or Aryan peoples. The biblical term Madites represents the ancient Persians. Similarly, Tubal and Meshech are mentioned and are believed to be the ancestors of Russian, Ukrainian, and other Slavic peoples. The Slavic peoples are descendants of these three biblical characters. It is important to note that the biblical genealogies have significant implications for understanding apocalyptic prophecies found in various books of the sacred scriptures, such as the book of Revelation Daniel, Ezekiel, and Isaiah. The lands of Gomer and Magog, which are associated with Russia and Ukraine, respectively, play a paramount role in these prophecies. As we explore further, we encounter the name Tiras, who is considered the ancestor of the Italian peoples. The Etruscans, one of the ancestral groups of ancient Italians, are connected to Tiras. Additionally, Javan, another son of Japheth, not only gave rise to the Greek peoples but also influenced other groups connected to the Greeks. The linguistic similarities among the names of Japheth's sons are intriguing. Although variations exist due to different languages such as Greek, Hebrew, and Aramaic, these names share resemblances. This linguistic diversity can be traced back to the events at the Tower of Babel, where different languages originated as a consequence of human wickedness. According to biblical tradition, there was once a common language known as the Edomite language spoken by the earliest human descendants of Adam and Eve. Over time, the world has witnessed the emergence of numerous languages, each with its own history and evolution. For instance, modern Greek, a variant of ancient Greek, has undergone transformations and changes in structure and vocabulary throughout thousands of years. Among Javan's children we find Elisha, identified as the ancestor of the Greek peoples. The connection between Elisha and the word Helens is evident not only in English but also in Hebrew and Greek. Tarshish, another son of Javan, is associated with the Tartessians, the earliest inhabitants of the Iberian Peninsula. The Portuguese and Spaniards are considered descendants of Tarshish. Ketum, another son of Javan, is linked to the island of Cyprus, and the Cypriots are believed to be descended from him. Dotanem, or possibly Rodanem or Doranem due to linguistic differences, is considered the ancestor of the Dardanoi, an ancient Trojan people. While this video provides an overview of the biblical origins of European peoples, there is much more to explore in terms of stories and identifications of characters and their origins. In the next installment of this series, we will delve into the origin of Asian peoples according to the Holy Scriptures. In summary, the biblical narrative portrays European peoples as direct descendants of Japheth, and they are often referred to as Japhethic or Japhethite peoples. We hope you found this information intriguing and informative. Please leave your comments on the subject and share this video if possible. Stay tuned for our next video, and thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey.